Hey guys, it's Lauren. Thank you for joining me for another video. This video is a what I got for Christmas video, which feels extremely weird and awkward to film. Uh, I did a poll on my Instagram right after the holidays to see if anybody wanted to see this from me. I put interesting uh, or gross and the, the, the large majority said interesting. So I am, uh, I am doing that today. However, extremely weird. Uh, this, this feels to film for whatever reason, but I did um, get some really lovely, thoughtful gifts that I'm excited to share. Some things that I have been wanting on my wish list, and yeah, just some things from some interesting uh, places that, um, regardless of being in this video, I would want to showcase anyways. So um, here, uh, here it is. I'm just gonna get into this. Um, hopefully, it'll feel less awkward as I go. But um, I have my little we'll pile over here. So um, uh, I'll start with what my sister-in-law got me. Uh, my husband, he has a large family out here, or he just, he has, some of his siblings are out here and they, uh, they have girlfriends and uh, wives and whatnot. We're all pretty close. And just for money and time saving uh, this year, we decided to do a secret Santa, just like draw a name out and just buy for one person. And then we went out and got a, uh, some uh, Korean fried chicken and exchange gifts. And my sister-in-law got me two things that were on my wish list that I've been wanting. So I should probably have these things slightly in more accessible realm. Um, but she got me these two things as my gift. Um, the Twin Peaks final dossier. If you didn't know, big, big Twin Peaks fan here. I have the secret history, seen the original series a bunch of times. I love, the third, um, the, the third series that just came and went and I haven't um, had like the uh, wherewithal to like sit down and focus on this um, but I'm really really excited to get in uh, get into this and like you know find out more about my characters the, that I love and uh, new characters that were introduced in this last season because uh, the the new season definitely raised more questions, which is very David Lynch. Um, but regardless, uh, I'm very, very, very happy to have this in my life. I'm a big Twin Peaks fan, um, as I've already said. And then uh, she got me this, the Chanel Soleil Pan de Chanel, the Chanel cream bronzer that uh, everybody uh, goes on about here and there. It was like super big a few years ago, and then this last year it made a resurgence and I always always wanted to try this guy and uh, yeah it's my first piece of Chanel makeup I feel very fancy having this on my vanity table and holding it um, uh, and I've only used it a couple of times I used it today in conjunction with another bronzer that I actually got for Christmas but it's really beautiful it kind of looks like condensed chocolate soft serve ice cream in here um, but Smells nice, looks nice. Yeah, very excited to have uh, this guy. And uh, I love me some bronzer because I'm, I'm a pale little lady. So yeah, very um, very happy to have this. So thank you, thank you, sis. Uh, so yeah, she gave me these things, which were absolutely lovely. And then because um, my husband and I, we, uh, we went up to my folks place in Washington. So we drove up there so we could bring our dog and as we were packing the car, we quickly realized we um, we didn't really have any room to bring up our gifts for <laughs> each other. So we uh, exchanged gifts um, a few days before Christmas and he got me several things. He is a big, big spoiler. We, we tend to try to outdo each other on the holidays, which is very sweet. And we've kind of gotten into this tra tradition with like stocking stuffers where we will um, give like toiletry items, like favorite uh, like food items or something like that. So um, uh, it used to be really, really easy for him to get me uh, like my toiletry staples because they really weren't such like a mystery. It was basically like a uh, certain sort of shampoo and Trader Joe's moisturizer is 
basically the extent of my beauty routine there a few years ago, which uh, has uh, changed dr dramatically. So it's kind of a gamble. So I definitely like on my Amazon wish list, I put a variety of things in a variety of price points, and he got me um, several of those guys, which was super sweet. He got me a new uh, Hymish All Clean Balm. I, uh, this one, I noticed the packaging has been updated. I don't know when it was updated. Um, the last time I had it, it just had a twist off, but this, in addition to the twist off, it also has a pop top, which is interesting. And both of them have these like, like a safety little peel things off, and I got two um, spatulas, so. Uh, I don't know if that is a fluke or the new um, way it is, but that that's there. I'm gonna um, not use this guy just yet because I have so many things open at the moment, but super happy to have this. If you want like a good first cleanse, very similar to like the pharmacy uh, green clean, good little like sorbet-y, icy style texture first cleanse so he got me that and then also the dr hauschka uh, bronzing tint i uh, saw that this was on the into the gloss like best of or new guard or whatever it is their their big list of like the best of products and this was on there and it was one of the few products on there that i hadn't tried so i put it on my uh, wish list and here it is now <laughs> and it's a, a cream texture like very liquidy not um not like cream like this it's more of a liquid and you like mix it in with moisturizers or however so i put this on uh, mixed in with my moisturizer actually with my primer before i went in with my makeup this morning and uh yeah it just gives like a healthy glow it doesn't have like much of a shimmer. It's pretty just like matte. Actually, I shouldn't put it on my hand right now. I'll, but I'll do it in the insert. Uh, I don't want to like get myself messy because I'm wearing a partially white outfit. But yeah, so two bronzer things got me ready for um, summertime and or just looking more bronze than I am. And then uh, the last sort of uh, toiletry item that he got, which was... Um, Kind of a stocking stuffer, kind of just like a regular gift, and that is the Wamisa Organic Flowers Toner. I've always wanted to try this. This has just been like on uh, one list after another for a while. I've been wanting to try this because it's, it's just like a popular kind of cult K beauty product. You see it all over Instagram and on YouTube and whatnot, and it's a uh, really lovely toner i've used it a few times it's very hydrating it's it's rather thick it is very fragranced which is the only thing that um uh i'm not too sure about it's very lovely fragrance but kind of intensely fragranced but it did come with uh several different little samples which will be really fun to dive into since Besides like one sheet mask, I've never tried anything from uh, Wamisa, so that'll be cool. And I think they're like, they're getting bigger yet again. Like it, they got big there a little while ago when like K-Beauty first became like super big uh, in, in terms of here in the US. But I'm pretty sure I saw when browsing the new in section at Credo that they were carrying this or some. Wamisa products, so um, I'll double check on that and like confirm whether or not that's completely true. But that's really interesting if it's at Credo. Um, yeah, I could see, uh, yeah. So just interesting random thing. And then uh, I noted that we also give like treats and things. So he gave me some like candies that I really like, like the Junior Mints and some like Carmelos that I, I already ate. But <laughs> he gave me also a, um, a bag of David Lynch coffee, which I knew was there, uh, not in there, but I knew existed, but have never tried for some reason. I actually planned on buying this when they had the R&R um, &R diner pop up here in LA. They, this old rundown Johnny Rockets on uh, Melrose, they like re, like, fitted out or whatever uh, into an R&R &R style diner and had all of these different like Twin Peaks 
themed stuff. They, I guess they had like cherry pie and you could buy uh, the David Lynch coffee. And I uh, waited in line to get in there for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. And I gave up. It was so hot and uncomfortable and I could feel my skin getting burnt. I got there like 45 minutes before it opened and I wasn't too far down in line, like maybe like 30 people at the most down the line, but the people running it were super late to even opening it. And then I don't know if they had like special people that were, they decided to let in because when I gave up, I went and looked in and there was just like these two older couples in there and nobody else. Uh, yeah, and the guy said that it would be another, uh, where I was in line, it would be like at least another hour and a half before I got in there and uh, I gave up. I, I love, I love David Lynch, but I don't love him um, enough to suffer a parking ticket and uh, um, dehydration and a sunburn. So that was a big bummer, but yeah. Anyways, that was a thing around uh, Halloween that if I still have the footage, I like took some photos um, of it. I'll insert it right now uh, of the little of the thing, even though I didn't get to go in. I actually got quite a few uh, clothing items for the holidays from uh, Jeff and family members, but I'm gonna just put those into a new in like wardrobe update video because then I can like set up my camera with me trying it on, which uh, I don't really have the uh, space to do today, but a couple of like clothing related things that he did get me is I got a new yellow 108 hat. You've probably seen my, uh, my beige toned one on my channel here or there. I've had it for like three or four years and it's held up amazingly well. And I, uh, I saw that they had this really gray, beautiful new gray style. And this is, I think called the Dylan, regardless, I'll, I'll have it down below, but it's more structured and less floppy than uh, the other one that I have. And slightly more like, I don't know, fedora-y, but I have like, at least three if not more like cowboy-esque style hats like this I'm a big fan and this one's like quite structured which I wasn't fully aware of but I am happy to have another one of these in my life big fan of cowboy-esque style things if you weren't fully aware and uh, yellow 108 as a hat brand I think they are a Long Beach hat brand that makes I think they're handmade but just very well made sturdy hats that just like hold up. I've had my other one for ages and yeah, really, really beautiful hat. And then this is, um, I can't remember the name of the leather maker, but I think it's another LA brand. Uh, I put it on my wish list, but it was sold through individual medley store, which you can like buy online. They're uh, an LA based like, medley uh cool shop that sells like a variety of different you know handmade goods and like clothing and uh uh knickknacks and things like that but it was sold through them but when i went to go like make sure i knew the product information the the link was dead uh because it was sold out so i i gotta like hunt down some tags that might be in the, the garbage or in a, a bin somewhere but this was another thing that had been on my wish list for a while and I love the trend of circle bags but you know it's definitely a very very saturated trend right now and I saw this one a while ago and I loved the sort of uh one the very like soft uh leather aspect of it because it wasn't so structured it's more of a pouch and it can't fit too much in it like I'd have to like minimize my keys and it like can barely hold my uh my iPhone, it's like rather bulky with my iPhone, which kind of sucks, um, but it like kind of fits in there and I have a rather small wallet. So it's not like for having uh, a lot of stuff in, but what I um, liked about it, which I'm trying to get to, is the convertible 
aspect of it. So it has these straps that you can make it as like a crossbody if you wanted to. But the coolest thing about it is, I'll stand up and show you, is that you can like tie it around like this, I saw. And then it is, you know, basically a super cool fanny pack. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was super cool and convenient. And if you didn't want it like on your shoulder or hands free, um, yeah, I thought that was a really cool, uh, refreshing style of bag. So yeah, he got me that, which was super duper super duper sweet. Last couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, these guys were from my sister. She got me this little mini set of the Tarte lip paints, which I'm wearing this color right here. Let me double check what color it is. This is a formula that I hadn't tried and it uh, dries down really, really fast, which was pretty cool. And very opaque, which I also thought was very cool. Um, but I put it on and I put the Fenty gloss on top of it because I didn't want like a super dry lip, but it seems to be uh, like cool with being layered. It doesn't break it up. And I think this is the, this color is called Rain that I have on here, like R-E-I Rain, not the falling from the sky Rain. This was, this is a really cool little guy um uh to have i love mini lipsticks because i i rarely go through like a full size lipstick and i like having minis because one they're like super convenient when you don't want like a really big purse and they don't feel as wasteful as uh big ones so yeah these uh all these colors look really great and really wearable and something i will wear and then she also got me this really really sweet um picture book my um my sister my dad and i actually at the beginning of summer end of spring we went on a fishing trip in alaska which is something uh, we had never never done never been to alaska never been fishing in uh the ocean like we were on a little boat fishing for halibut and salmon for like three days, you know, on a boat for 12 hours. <laughs> you got a bucket to pee in. It was really intense, you know, wearing these kind of garments for the entire day. I was uh, pretty grody, but it was a lot of fun. And yeah, my, uh, my dad and my sister and I, we'd never really gone on anything like that. Like we, we you know, we, we grew up very outdoorsy so you know we had we had gone camping and like fishing and, and things like that and like snowshoeing but never something that was like the three of us and like a trip like this so that was that was really cool and a once in a lifetime experience so it was really sweet that she printed out this book of it because it was you know it was beautiful we were, saw whales every day like there were so many eagles like at first you're like oh wow eagles like super majestic even though like i grew up in a part of washington that you know you would see quite a few eagles but um here it was like crows like seagulls there would be in these trees outside of our cabin you could just you would lose count of the amount of eagles that were sitting in those trees and uh every like day after you come back from fishing for the day and the, you know they'd like gut the fish and like clean it they'd throw out all the guts out onto the lawn. I know, sorry, to TMI for those that are not into that, but then the eagles would just descend onto the lawn and just eat, eat all of the unused fish parts. Um, oh, there I am, fishing on a boat in Alaska. Probably hadn't showered in a really long time. Smelled terrible. Um, but yeah, that was uh, really awesome. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of like sea lions and stuff, so. That was a very, uh, very awesome and memorable trip. And I'm very, very happy to have gone. Just Alaska's gorgeous and I can't wait to go back. Um, yeah, so she got me those things that were really, really sweet. And then last thing that I'm gonna share in this video is this beautiful robe that is very um, wrinkly from being in my suitcase. But my mom went, uh, went to Hawaii like end of November, beginning of December. And one of the, the gifts she gave me 
was this really, really beautiful robe that she found in Hawaii. It just has this most incredible print on it and I love I love a good robe life. I love lounging in robes and this is a really nice like lightweight material and it like goes down below my knees. My other robe is like right above my knees so it's like can easily like shift and like not that easy to keep closed so this was like really good for just like lounging around the house post shower and it has pockets which um I kind of feel like every robe should have from now on I'm not entirely sure of what the fabric content of it is but it feels like a cotton maybe a cotton hemp blend but it is um it's not hand washed you can machine wash it uh cold uh, but then just like hang dry so um it must be a um semi like durable fabric to be able to go in the wash alrighty so that those are all of the things that i wanted to share in this video in terms of what i got for christmas i hope you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too i don't know weird gross hopefully it was on the interesting side of that button and maybe introduced you to I don't know, some interesting brands like Yellow 108. But uh, yeah, I just got some really lovely um, gifts that, um, yeah, warm my little heart. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you, if you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.